Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello and welcome and if you are back, welcome back. I am here to welcome everyone back for week three of Summer with the Masters. This is an event that I am co-hosting with my friend Anthony of Single and Placing throughout the months of June and July and it's an event that just centers around artwork that is, we kind of refer to them as the old masters, you might think of them as just classic artwork. Um, for our purposes, it's any artwork that's from before the year 1928, which is the current copyright year in the United States and is part of the public domain and therefore you can ethically use it for custom diamond paintings and, and whatnot. So, um, though your artwork does not have to be a custom diamond painting, you can also get a pre-packaged kit like this this one. Um, so we've had a couple of really fantastic weeks of content, including um, week one where I talked through the process of ordering a custom and some tips I have for you. Last week, Anthony did a fantastic video where he did a deep dive on the life of Gustav Klimt, who's a really well-known and popular artist um, and has some amazing diamond painting kits available as well. And uh, today, I, I have to tell you just really quickly, I have, to, I have to do a little bit of a pivot because I was unexpectedly very, very sick this past week. And so... All my best laid plants just for making some adjustments to them so for week three i'm going to unbox be unboxing a couple of kits with you guys including this custom which yes i have made quite a bit of progress on i'm, on, I'm over halfway done with it at this point and i'm so happy with how it's turning out um, but i i filmed the unboxing and haven't shared that yet so i'm going to be including that video here and then i'm also going to unbox this kit from Michaels, which is a crafting store in the US. And they last summer launched these lines of diamond painting kits under their own store brand called Make Market. Um, this is from the summer line of 2022. And they've since continued to release more kits seasonally um, that kind of like come out in and out. I think they may have re-released this one this summer as well. But this one's been in my stash since last year and I actually haven't even unboxed it yet. I thought it would be fun to compare a couple of different kits from a couple of different um, brands, at least just in the unboxing to see what we're looking at. They also have really different price points. This is from Jaded Gem Shop and the, the price point and the quality and everything about it tends to be a much more customized and um, a more premium level experience, but Michael's, it's just straight out of the box. I used a coupon. I think I spent $10 on this kit. So um, I just thought it would be nice for you guys to see a couple of different options out there, just as far as unboxings go. If you're here to find out about the winners for the week one giveaways, which I'll be announcing, and by the way, Anthony will be announcing the winners of his week two giveaways in his video next week. Um, stay tuned. That'll be a little bit later in this video. Um, and if you're wanting to hear about how to enter for the week three giveaways, also stay tuned. So I'll have more info for you there, but uh, let's go ahead and let's dive into it. I'm going to start you guys off with this unboxing. I apologize if the transition here is a little bit jarring um, because I initially thought I'd be posting that just as its own thing. So let's just, let's dive into it and then we'll, we'll hop on over into this one. Today I am here with a really special unboxing from Jaded Gem Shop. You guys, this kit actually has the very first custom I've ever ordered from Jaded Gem Shop. And it's the piece I'm going to be working on for Summer with the Masters, which is an event I'm hosting with my friend Anthony from Single and Placing this summer. And I am just absolutely thrilled. It's become a bit of a tradition at this point that because this is the third year of Summer with the Masters that I've hosted or co-hosted, and this is the third year I'm going to be doing a custom of a John William Waterhouse piece. This is one that was one of my runners up for last year's custom choices, uh, but this is the one I ultimately ended up with, and it is, let me see if I can show you. Psyche entering Cupid's garden. And well, when I ordered this, it was a custom order. It is available just for anyone to order in Jade's shop. She went ahead and added it as a listing. So uh, you can pick it up for yourself if you're interested. It's available in a variety of different sizes. Now, the process of ordering a custom from Jade was really, really simple. She has a form on her website that you fill out if you're curious to um, get some mock-ups from her to see uh, what this would, what, what, what your artwork might look like in different sizes of diamond painting, and then you can decide which one you wanna order and she'll add a listing for you. But you fill out the Google form, I think it's a Google form, I could be wrong about that, it's a form on the website, which I'll link below. And um, you include the artwork itself. Now this piece is a part of the public domain because 
It was created before the year 1928, which as of the time of this filming is the current copyright year in the United States. Uh, if you are wanting to order a custom of artwork that is not a part of the public domain and belongs to an artist, Jade will require that you show proof of permission to use said artwork so that you're not stealing from artists in, in order to get your custom, if that makes sense, which I actually really appreciate that Jade is making sure that she's doing right by artists as well. But anyway, this one, like I said, is part of the public domain and um, I'm really, really darn excited to take a look at this artwork. So oop, a little piece fell out. So let me, let me unroll it. I, while I'm doing so, I'll kind of talk to you guys a little bit about, uh, so the process of ordering a custom, there is some turnaround time. Once you submit the form, it'll take a little bit of time for her to get you those mock-ups and send them over to you. And so she, I had sent her the, I filled out the form that included this original artwork. And um, she sent me back some different size options, which were rough renders that would be touched up depending on which size I chose. Um, and I decided to get mine in a 50 by 75. It was one of the middle ground sizes. Um, I, I probably could have gone even bigger but I just, I know myself and I know about how I don't necessarily want to work on huge diamond paintings all the time. So 50 by 75 was really about the smallest that I felt like I could go with that would still give me the detail that I wanted in this piece. So I'm gonna roll it backwards to help it lay flat a little more quickly. And then let's take a look. Oh my gosh, she's a beauty. Oh my goodness. So um, if you take a look at the original artwork and then you can see this, of course, the printing on the canvas is gonna be a little bit different than the original artwork because there's symbols printed here and Jade's canvases often come with a bit of a photo negative effect. The colors though are gonna be revealed as, as you start working on the canvas itself. We do have two bags of diamonds here, which we'll take a closer look at in just a little bit, some of those colors. But in addition to the sticker sheet that was included, Jade also includes a pack of double-sided release paper, so both sides are safe to put down on the glue uh, that she uses. And she also includes a roll of Jade Green washi tape. I like to use washi tape around the border of the drill field on my canvas. Sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. And that little bit of glue tends to attract dust and dirt because it's not going to be covered by diamonds. And sometimes you stick your hand in it. It's just the whole thing. So I like to cover it up with a border of washi tape just to prevent that. And also sometimes you can coordinate your washi tape and it looks really cute and stuff. But let me show you some of the other features of the canvas and whatnot. So like I said, we have this large sheet that was included. And what I didn't say already was that this is actually a sticker sheet. So you can see it's kind of popping up there just a little bit, not a big deal. But these are pre-cut sticker labels. So what I'm gonna do is take these diamonds and they're in heat sealed baggies. I'm gonna put them into storage containers and then I can just put these labels directly on the storage containers. This uh, DMC right here, this color code system in this column comes from the DMC brand of Floss. Most diamond painting companies use that color code system. This kit's gonna have 64 colors. So it's gonna be pretty, that's, that's a lot of color for a piece that has kind of a lot of these neutral tones like this. But I think that that will I think that that'll work. We'll definitely have to take a look. Jade's rendering style overall is certainly more confetti heavy, but I honestly think that it lends itself to old masters artwork really beautifully because of that. So I'm excited to see. <laughs> and then we have her branding down here, Jade Gem Shop. And then you do have the option when you order from Jade at Gem Shop, you can ask for her to add ABs or add in crystal diamonds. Now, old masters artwork like this piece, Psyche entering Cupid's Garden by John William Waterhouse. This I feel like is designed to be a little bit more muted in tone and colors. So um, I don't think that it calls for needing ABs or rhinestones personally, but that's, that's just my opinion. But you have that option if you want it. So let's take a look at some other features on the canvas. So we do have her branding here, Jaded Gem Shop. And then over here at the top right, there's her socials. She does have Instagram, she has a Facebook group as well. And then she has a YouTube channel. And then here's the title, Psyche Entering Cupid's Garden, artist John William Waterhouse. 
And then the back on her canvases is like a short lint, soft lint, but it's a really nice material. It lays flat really well. The plastic cover on her canvases is really thick. It's thicker than most companies. I don't hate it <laughs> at all, actually. Um, and she uses poured glue that is really, really sticky. Um, Jade's canvases, her kits, the kits from Jade Jump Shop are made to order and highly customizable. And that includes, you can choose not only the size, but you can choose if you want round or square diamonds, and you can choose if you want to add a B's or crystals. And actually you can also choose if you want to add grid lines because she did recently update her canvases and got rid of the grid lines on her square drill canvases. And honestly, it makes the symbols a lot easier to read in my opinion. But if you prefer to have the grid lines so that you can play, if that helps you place your drills more, more easily, sorry, um, you do have the option of adding grid lines back in if you like. So at the bottom of the canvas here, we do have, there's a thumbnail of the original artwork. And then we've got a schematic or a legend down here, but I don't ever refer to the legends on my canvas. What I do is if I'm working on a section of the canvas and I, I see, okay, I'm gonna pick this symbol, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna look at the symbol on the canvas and then immediately look at where I have my diamonds kitted up and find that symbol from there. I don't actually refer to the legend down here. We do have a jade green border that goes all around the side as well. Now let me show you some of these symbols printed close up. The printing is really clear. You can also see, like I mentioned, it's pretty confetti heavy. That's a combination of Jaded Gem Shop and their rendering style, which is a lot softer, more watercolor vibes, um, and certainly is gonna have more in the way of confetti in general. But that is also going to be really characteristic of Old Masters artwork anyway. Most Old Masters artwork is going to be confetti heavy. <laughs> I'm loving what I am seeing. The printing on the canvas, the colors on the canvas do look a little bit dark to me, but that is usually how it ends up looking. But then the actual diamonds on the canvas, I think will be a little more suitable to the original artwork. I think this size will be good, but I'm really curious to start placing some diamonds down. There's a big section of color blocking up here. That's that's a novelty with a Jada Gem Shop canvas. A bunch of color blocking? All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. So this looks pretty good. Now, just out of curiosity, let's do a measurement and see if we are true to size on this one. Grab my ruler here. So 50 by 75 is the size that I went with. We're just at 75 centimeters. And then we are at, let's see. 50 centimeters on the nose. So we are at true to size. <laughs> now let's take a look at those diamonds and see what we think of some of the colors that have been charted here. So again, here's our two packs of diamonds. I am seeing, we do have plenty of lighter colors in there. And uh, I've got 102, two of two. And I believe these will just be in strands of heat sealed baggies, but let's take a look. Yeah, so, um, this is the DMC color code that you see right there. And uh, I did choose to get this one with square diamonds because I really felt like square diamonds have a little bit more polished, finished look. And I thought that that would really suit this artwork even better. 739. The drill quality looks good. You know, I'm not noticing any incon like majorly inconsistently sized drills or any tabs sticking off the sides or anything like that. We have some pretty grays and beiges and some pinks and some browns. I won't pull out all of the colors because we'd be here for a little while. There's, what did we say, 60, 64 colors in total. And Jada Gem Shop, I believe, gives you about 20% extra. But of course, if you do run out of a color, contact her and I'm quite positive that she will send you replacements happily. So lots of pretty pale muted tone kinds of colors and browns. A pretty forest green or light green, 3363. 
there's any other specific colors I want to grab out of this bag, but let me vent that one all up. Let's see. Got some pretty beiges and lighter browns down here and some pinks and reds. Let's look at the other bag. I'm curious if this one will have the 310. Is that what that heart is, is 310? Yeah, okay, so we do have a good amount of 310, which is just black. And ooh, those are shiny and sparkly. So we have a few strands of those. Again, 310. Actually, this is a color that often, if there are gonna be issues with sizing inconsistencies or anything like that, you'll see it in these darker colors, but these look really good. So quite a bit of that color. And then some more pretty greens, pinks, corals, probably in her dress. Those are browns, not greens. So yeah, you guys, here's that pretty color spread. Ooh, yeah, lots and lots of pretty pinks. Some yellows and beiges, some darker browns as well. <gasps> pretty, pretty color, <clears throat> color spread, you guys. I am so excited to kit this one up. I am gonna have to do this right away because it's actually just a couple of days before Summer with the Masters is kicking off and I cannot wait to get started on my choice of a custom for this year. Okay, so that was Psyche entering Cupid's Garden, which I got from Data Gem Shop as a custom as by the artist John William Waterhouse. Now I'm gonna get into this kit from Michaels. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is part of their store brand, which is called Make Market, and they have a variety of diamond painting kits. They aren't all necessarily the, this old master's style, um, but they're, they're really, really, really budget-friendly, especially as you can stack a coupon on top of this, and it does seem like they're seasonal, though. So like I said, I got in this one last summer. I was really intrigued. It was the first time I had seen Michaels release you know, this brand, especially like this price point and everything, and so I picked this up, but didn't get to last summer and it is on my plan to work on this summer so um here's the the kit itself yeah i had to tape it at one point but the artwork itself is called the dance class and it's by Degas is the artist and then on the back there's some info about there's like some instructions some really basic instructions written out for you <laughs> about as simple as it can get and then the contents that are included so a pre-printed canvas Diamond art gems, stylus, tray, caddy, instruction sheet, and then there's a picture of the design, diamond design area. 16 by 20 inches, 40 by 50-ish centimeters. Totally fine with that. And then nothing special on the side of the box, just the picture. So I literally, this has been sitting in my closet since last summer. <laughs> I never opened it up, so I'm very, very curious. Okay, so everything looks like is gonna be included in here. So we'll take a look. Oh man. <laughs> Those symbols already I'm like uh oh I hope those aren't gonna be too hard to read but let's open it up and let's look let me not make a snap judgment here um all right so looks like this is gonna be the bottom actually it's wrapped similarly to Jada Gem Shop with the the symbols and the canvas everything facing out okay let's do it this way all right so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this backwards because it does look like that's poured glue I mean, you got a clear plastic cover. Yeah, that's poured glue for sure. So it's safe for me to roll backwards. It definitely needs it. I have a feeling that this, this artwork, this, the size of this diamond painting might be a little small for the artwork itself, but I, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I definitely want to see how this is going to take a look, how this is going to work. look. So okay, we have a pack of diamonds, which we'll look at more closely in a bit. And it came with, okay, let's look at this instruction sheet. Okay, make market diamond art kit instruction sheet. So this looks like just a slightly more detailed version of what was on the outside of the box. If you are brand new to diamond painting and you would like to see a beginner video that I've put together, I will have that linked in the description box. Here's some tips. Wash your hands before working. Gradually peel back the film. Okay. I'm just curious to see what are they recommending? Okay. Wrap the head of the stylus tool in plastic when not in use to prevent it from drying out. Literally never done that. <laughs> Literally never done that, that's funny. Okay, um, actually that's a good tip. If the fabric becomes soiled, like if you get dirt or heck if you drop like a paper, that I've seen that happen before too, on the glue, try using a baby wipe and gently wiping it off. 
and that will actually help um, kind of reset the glue and clean it off and restore the stickiness. So, okay, let's take a look. So yeah, not, not bad tips in there. I have to give them credit for that. <laughs> okay, so we have some baggies, just some basic plastic bags. Not, I don't think that's gonna be enough for the number of colors in this case. It's gonna have 34 colors, but it's still, it's still there. So you do get a pen and a squishy, a sparkly pen and a squishy, okay. And we do have some pink wax, which, you know what? This might be the first time I've ever seen a company put a little note here to make sure you peel off. There's a plastic cover there. That's actually, that's really funny that that's like a thing. But yeah, that's totally a good tip for beginners. There is a thin plastic cover film on the wax that you wanna make sure you peel off. A lot of people don't notice that. Uh, that's hysterical that a budget kit is the first place I've ever seen a note like that on it. <laughs> that's amazing. You know, I keep commenting on budget companies. This is not me slamming budget companies whatsoever. I actually think it's really awesome. Um, and I love that there are some extremely budget friendly options. <laughs> like there's zero actual, there's no shade happening here. It's just an observation. Um, and it's a little bit of a novelty for me because I, I typically buy from um, companies, a lot of these higher, these companies that have licensed artwork are just generally gonna end up being a bit more expensive than these really, really, really budget friendly options. And so, it's nice, like I'm actually really, really happy I'm able to see this kind of option. So okay, let's talk about the canvas now. Um, we have no branding at the top. Um, there's no nothing on here that says make market or anything like that. There's this, which I assume is some sort of unit number, like inventory number or something. Like maybe it doesn't match up, no, I don't see anything that matches up on here. Okay, but that's something. And then the artist's name in the dance class. You know what, honestly, someone posted one of these in the Diamonds and Emeralds and Facebook group, not this exact kit, but something from Make Market Brand. And I was like, is is that like a unlicensed piece or something? And it was someone else that was like, oh no, 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 I recognize that, that's the Make Market Brand. It's just how they how they do their canvases. There's like no, no Make Market branding. So I'm curious what like their parent company is. Um, the canvas material itself. Okay, so this is, does it say, does it say on here what it was? 100% polyester. This feels like 100% polyester. <laughs> um, I It is so stiff. It almost feels like an oil cloth, but it's like thick too. Um, I'm trying to think, I don't know if I have a really good standard for comparison, like another company that does um, a canvas quite like this. But like I said, they do use poured glue, which I am excited about. It looks like that glue though kind of ends um, where you see the ink cut off, that glue cuts off as well. So hopefully, I mean, it's covering most of the symbols. So hopefully the diamonds that go along the edge, that's not going to be a problem. Uh, we do have a legend on the top left, 34 colors. Like I said, there's no DMC code on here. And y'all, there's no DMC codes in here either. So just FYI, I don't see any way of identifying a DMC code unless you tried to match it with other colors that you already have, but maybe if you keep your leftover diamonds. Um, but that's not a problem if you don't save them, especially, you know, it's just, just FYI, there's no DMC codes. There's no sticker sheet or anything like that. Small little canvases this is though, I'm just gonna refer to the legend on the canvas. It's not a huge deal. Um, the symbols themselves, a lot of these look familiar. Like I'm wondering who's their, who's their manufacturer? <laughs> because some of these do look familiar, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, the printing on the canvas itself. Let's look. It's a little bit blurry. Sorry, a little close. The camera, when you look at something like this through a camera lens, the camera lens clarifies it. It brings more detail than there actually is to the naked eye. Um, the symbols of culprit in particular, that's blurry, but you know what? Especially if there's no other symbols like it, it's not a big deal. It's completely fine. Like I'll just, I'll know that that's what that symbol is supposed to be. Interesting that most of the printing of the symbols um, like I know that these colors in here, that's not going to be like a red diamond. That's a lighter color diamond, but their, their red printing is, is an interesting choice. There's a lot of that. A lot of these symbols, it's red printing on a light background. So, uh, these do have what you might consider guide circles, which is, um, so like areas like these, there's the big white circle and then the red symbol in the middle. You wanna be careful about how you place your diamonds because depending on how the drill field has been printed and the size of the diamonds and stuff, if you don't place the diamonds pretty centered, it's possible that some of that white uh, guide circle will show around the, edge of the edges of the diamonds. So 
There is some color blocking in this piece though. There's some mixed color blocking and confetti. Color blocking is when, like in here, you have a large section of the same symbol or color in a small area. So you can use your multi-placer. You'll have that same color in your tray for a while. Areas like that go a little bit faster, but we definitely have some confetti in here as well, like in these areas where we have these dancers. And confetti is where you have more color changes in a small area, and it's where you tend to get a little bit more detail, and it takes you a little bit longer to complete, but um, <clears throat> because you're single placing and changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often, but the payoff is usually there. Uh, so it's hard to tell from the printing on the canvas how this is really gonna translate because they use some different colors in the printing itself. So I, this is just continuously piquing my curiosity. Like I wanna know how this is gonna look. I really wanna know how this is gonna look. Uh, let's do a measurement. So it's listed as, uh, we'll do in inches cause that's kind of the even measurement and the first measurement is listed on the box. It says 16 inches by 20 inches. Um, measuring just the drill field, you can see we're at about 15 and, I don't know, not like between half and three quarters inches. And then, well, it says 40.6 centimeters. Is it actually 40.6? Nope, it is about 39 and a half. So I wonder if they're, are they measuring this white border? Maybe. Or the black line, I don't know. And then this way, it says it should be 20 inches. Let me make sure it's flat. And again, I'm just measuring the drill field. Uh, yeah, no, we're 19 and a half. I'm flattening that out. Yeah, like exactly 19 and a half. You know what, is that a deal breaker? No. <laughs> Uh, I tend to give companies at any price point or, or quality point um, a centimeter or two of wiggle room because sometimes it just has to do with like the drill shape or the printing or, or the drill field. Not a huge deal, but it's, it's close. It's pretty close to what it's listed as on the box. So um, let's take a look at these diamonds. I want to see how they look. I, I think, don't quote me on this. Don't quote me on this. I got to go back to the store and see. I think that they only are offering kits with round diamonds at this time. But I'd be curious if they started offering squares. So again, we have no DMC printing on here, but this number right here matches up with that number at the bottom of the canvas. That's what we've got going. Otherwise the 17 just matches up with the number 17 on the canvas. So like that's the color that goes with that brown. Um, like I said though, if you had, if you saved some leftover, so that being said, we're gonna look at the actual diamonds a little easier by flipping this over since it doesn't matter what the numbers say. Um, if you save your leftover diamonds, you could pull them and try to, you know, find close matches and, you know, label them with whatever DMC you think is the closest match. Are any of you like, I have such an eye for doing DM, like guessing what DMCs are then good for you. This has a lot of browns. Like it's like, is that 3371? Maybe. It's a dark, that's a dark brown color that's really common. But there's a ton of shades of brown in this kit, so who even knows? <laughs> uh, I have to say, looking at these now, again, don't, don't quote me on this, but I think these are acrylic drills. It doesn't say if, uh, if they're, like on the box, if they're advertising it as acrylic or resin, but, but I think just from how those look, okay, that's 310. That one's easy. Black, 310. Um, just from how they're looking, I think they're acrylic, but you know what? They look good. I don't mind acrylic rounds at all. I tend to care more if it's square, square diamonds, but rounds, that's fine. A ton of shades of brown, which is not shocking. I think maybe I would have expected there to be a little bit more in the way of white and gray because of the girls' dresses. I wonder if this green color, oh no, that's probably the background. Is that the letter F? Is that number 10? Yep, okay. So that's the wall. Maybe this is in their dresses, but here's this kind of ivory color. That might be 666. I don't know, there's a lot of bright red colors that aren't necessarily that color. Okay, so the, the quality looks good. You know, I'm not seeing a bunch of like, trash bits floating around in those bags or anything like that. Um, I I am curious. I mean, my initial reaction when I see this is that, well, the render on the box, it looks extremely pixelated. And like, this might be a really too small for the original artwork, but 
I will say that often things look a little bit different with diamonds on the canvas and it might not look quite as, as pixelated or as egregious, their faces in particular. But um, I'm gonna be really forgiving though because old master's artwork, you guys, really difficult to translate to diamond painting form. And I am just honestly super appreciative that we have a budget friendly, a super budget friendly option available, at least in the States, if you have a Michaels near you or Michaels online. Um, again, this kit was $14.99. And with the coupon, like I said, I think you can get it for 10, 11, $12 tops. And they had several old master's kits. I was there earlier this summer and I can't remember if this one was there, but they had several pieces by Van Gogh and um, a couple other artists that I just am fully blanking on um, that you could totally get for a really, really reasonable price. So um, maybe take a look and see if they still have anything in stock and you could totally jump in on Summer with the Masters with one of these kits. It's nice because I think most of them are a little bit on the smaller side. I think there were some larger options this summer that maybe they weren't available last summer. Um, but you know what? I, I love it. I love having options. And there are a lot of things about this kit that look like really nice quality. The fact that we get poured glue, um, the canvas material does seem nice, even though it is stiff, it is a sturdy and thicker material. I'm curious to see, I think it looks like it's going to hold drills. Well, the drill quality looks good. And, um, you know, it's, it's a really nice option to have. So um, I don't know if I'll be able to link exactly to this listing on the website, but I will take a look. And if I can, I will link to it below if it is available. If not, I'll see if I can link to just sort of the make market diamond painting section, section on their website. So uh, check in the description box for that. But this is, yeah, this is the dance class and I am planning to work on it probably in July, we'll see. But um, now I wanna head back to talk to you guys about some other stuff. So I'll be right back. <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining me for those two unboxings. I hope it was fun to see um, two really different in a lot of ways kinds of kits unboxed from a couple of different companies as well as seeing a lot of things that they have in common. So um, I am looking forward to getting to share both of these finishes with you sometime before the end of the event. But now I want to take a few minutes to talk about giveaways. First, I want to announce the winners from the week one giveaways that I shared on my channel here two weeks ago as of the day that this video is going up. or maybe two day, two weeks and one day, I think, because this is going up a day later. Um, but I, I want to also point out that uh, we have a list, uh, a doc rather, that's linked in the description box that will take you to a list of our sponsors. A lot of them are offering discount codes and some really amazing and fun themed goods in conjunction with Summer with the Masters. And honestly, Anthony and I could not make this event happen without the the partnership and the sponsorship of these amazing small shops. So a huge thank you to these small business owners for partnering with us. And we would love you guys for you guys to go and take a look at what they're offering. Um, I have a number of things on the way that I, I really, really, really can't wait to share with you. But um, first I wanna, like I said, I wanna get into announcing the winners from the week one giveaways. So to enter for this, these giveaways in week one, you just had to follow the instructions in the video. There were two steps. Um, I'll cover week three in just a moment. But first, the, the first prize that I had to give away was one of the Alphonse Mucha gemstone kits from Enablers Outpost, which will be shipping out to you. And the winner of this prize is, take a quick look at the screen. Congratulations. Um, we should have your mailing info from the giveaway entry form. So we'll have this in the mail to you soon. The second prize I had to give away in week one was a $25 gift card from Diamond Painting Shop which also has an amazing selection of old masters kits. And the winner of this prize is, take a look at the screen. Congratulations, congratulations to both of our winners and keep an eye on your emails and your mail and don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions about your prizes. But I do ask that you give us just a little bit of time to get, get prizes out and get everything coordinated um, because it, there are a few steps that go into that. So thanks for your patience and understanding. Now, as far as the week three giveaways, first, I'm going to share with you what I have to give away this week, and then I'm going to tell you how to enter. So um, first, I have this amazing, amazing coordinating pen and putty set that's been donated by Butterfly Effect Wears. I really adore my pens from Butterfly Effect Wears, and they just recently launched scented putties that they, they release in conjunction and in coordination with their weekly pen drops. 
and I have been using that in my multi-placer and absolutely love it. Their pens are so shiny and so gorgeous. They do weekly drops and I am very grateful that they are donating. They're actually donating two sets for us to give away throughout the course of the event. This is the first of these sets that I have to give away. So thank you to Butterfly Effectwares. Uh, the second prize I have to give away this week is another $25 gift card from Diamond Painting Shop. And I completed this beautiful kit, this Alphonse Mucha Seasons Panel Summer from Diamond Painting Shop last summer and had an amazing experience of working on this kit. The owner of this shop is incredibly sweet and has a really, really wide and amazing selection of both old masters artwork and other licensed artwork as well. So feel free to go and take a look. She just posted well, a little bit ago, a couple weeks ago, I think, um, that she has pre-orders available for some amazing new Mooka panels that are going to be coming up. I don't think they'll be here in time for the end of the event, but I'm totally going to be placing an order for next summer because I my jaw was just on the floor. But <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you uh, to Diamond Painting Shop for donating. Um, they've donated several gift cards for us to give away during the event, and this is... Um, another one for like like I had one to give away in week one and I have another for gift for week three and then I have a third prize to give away this week and this is actually a gift card from DP with sparklers um, if you enjoy enhancing your kits and or if you haven't tried enhancing your kits with special drills uh, take a look at DP with sparklers they have maybe the widest selection of special drills I've seen. They've been around for a really long time. They're very well loved and established in the community. The owner, Tima, is very, very sweet. She goes live every week on Friday nights. And um, I recently did this set of enhan enhancements using DP with Sparklers Diamonds on my on my Loki kit from Diamond Art Club and loved every second of the experience and the quality on those diamonds was great. So um, thank you to Team Off for donating uh, this gift card along with some other gift cards for us to give away during the event. Now, as far as how to enter, because each of these are individual prizes will go to three different people this week and how to enter, there's two steps. So first is to fill out the weekly giveaway form in the description box. Now, if you already filled out this form for week one or for week two, for if you've ever filled out this form during the event, it's the same on Anthony's and my channels, um, you do not have to fill it out again unless you have a change of address. And I'm sorry, I said it's a weekly giveaway form. It's just an event entry form. It's not specific. It doesn't say weekly specific. So I don't, I apologize if that was confusing. There's just an entry form that's in the, in the description box. Um, and so yes, please just fill that out. And the only reason you need to fill it out more than once is if you have a change of address and yeah, so uh, please do that. And then the second thing is I'd like you to leave a comment on this video, letting me know who your personal favorite artist or artists, if you can't pick one, that's fine, <laughs> that fit kind of in this old master genre would be. John William Waterhouse is one of mine. And at this point, it's become almost tradition that I work on a custom for, <laughs> from John William Waterhouse each summer for this event. And so that's definitely who I would say if it were me. Um, I haven't worked on a piece by Degas yet, but I actually really love his art style and I'm excited to get to work on this one and see how it works up. Um, but I, I love to hear from you guys in the comments. Um, on that and that's how you'll enter for uh, this weekly prize and I ask that you please don't include the words prize or giveaway in your um, comment because that can that'll just that'll get filtered out um, and the the entries for this week's giveaway will stay open through let me look at the calendar really quick they'll stay open through Wednesday June 28th 1159 p.m. Pacific time and I will announce the winners in my week five video which will open two weeks here on my channel so Anthony and I the way we're doing giveaways is that um, we're not trying to cross over and announce each other's winners from each other's videos just because that can get a little bit confusing um so just to keep it hopefully this keeps it simpler <laughs> that's where you'll hear the winners for week three but please be sure that you're following along with anthony at single and placing be subscribed to his channel as i'm filming this i just looked he's like uh just a, a centimeter away a millimeter away from 2000 subscribers and i'd love to help him him get to that um that milestone but uh, subscribe to his channel he's doing some fantastic summer with the masters content and also puts out regular diamond painting content and vlogs that are just so enjoyable and relaxing to listen to so if you haven't had a chance to check out his channel and his content yet 
please do. I think that you'll you'll really enjoy it. And he has so much passion and knowledge surrounding this whole genre of artwork and is such a perfect fit for co-hosting this event with me. Um, and so you definitely want to miss out on his Summer with the Masters content. By the way, also Jessica from Tiny Worlds of Wonder who co-hosted this event with me the first two years just put out a life update and update video over on her channel. So feel free to go and check in with her. She shared some uh, projects she's been working on for Summer with the Masters and um, ascending all her love as well. So uh, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for week three of Summer with the Masters. I wish you all the best of luck if you're entering for things this week. And um, yeah, I hope that you have an amazing rest of your week. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel as well to stay up with not only Summer with the Masters content, but all kinds of other diamond painting reviews and how to's and, and that sort of thing. I'd love to have you as part of my community here. So my friends, have a great rest of your week and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.